What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we're in my 2018 BMW M4 and I'm gonna show you a modification that you're gonna use every freaking day. Now you can do this to really any BMW um, with this certain spec of mirror. So what I wanna show you is these Euro mirrors right here. Uh, if you guys have a European spec BMW, you're not really gonna have to worry about it, but as you can see this glass right here, uh, it also has this nice little kind of blind spot detection edge on it. It is heated and dim, so it has the wiring hookups right here, and you're ready to go. Now let me show you what it's gonna help with. All right, so regularly in the US, we're just driving down the road with our mirrors, right? And they just, they just kind of look like this. So, you know, we put on our blinker, we look to the side of us, and uh, we don't see anything. However, now, if you use these ones, which we're gonna install here in a second, um, look what I'm, Look what I'm freaking missing here, all right? Like a whole car, you see that? So there's the car right there, and if I take it away, I can't even see that car, so I just have a giant blind spot. So I'm gonna install this mirror on the driver's side, and we'll do it on the passenger side as well, um, but I just kinda wanna give you guys a good idea of how these look. So there is the car right there as well, if you guys just kinda wanna see it. But as you can see, if I got over very quickly, that would be an accident and you wouldn't even see it. So these Euro spec mirrors are gonna just be a hell of a lot better. Obviously to do this installation, you're going to need the factory BMW group part, which there is the part number for one of the sides. I don't remember if that's the right or the left. Well, and my other part number is covered up by tape. So I'll link it down below in the description so you guys can pick some of these things up. I'm just gonna show you one of these mirrors as I feel that, you know, if you do it on one side, you can definitely do it on the other. Just for a little idea of what's going on here too. See my hand, hand there in the mirror, you know, just, this is kind of the view we get from directly on. So once we get that other mirror on too, I wanna show you the difference. Obviously like this, and I mean, you can already see that it's much more wide angle. I'm gonna try to do this without any tools. You just have to move the mirror inward most to the car that way i can basically get my finger in here now if you look at the back side of the mirror you'll see this circular little area where it clicks on and then you obviously have the wiring here and here and here so we're going to rehook up those wires but as we bend it inward that's the best way to do it as you're not going to rip up the wires but obviously be careful so this is glass it is a mirror but give it a little bit of a pry and it should pop right out Right. Well, my camera almost dropped there, but as you guys can see, that kind of just came off. So slowly release this. Now we can see our factory wiring here, right? Just install the original wires in place. So obviously the two black ones here and then the brown and white connection right here. Use like a key or a flathead screwdriver or something. Boom, super simple, super basic. Pull these off, these are just little connectors, like so. This installation should be a very straightforward and quick. Grab the new mirror here, hook up what I think are the auto dimming elements right there. Pretty sure that's for the auto dim in the middle. And I'm pretty sure this outer one is for the uh, heating element, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And boom, we just hooked that mirror up. Would you look at this? All we gotta do now is press, press in. Now that thing is installed. Make sure it's nice and firm, nice and tight. Now, our mirror is all the way in, so I'm gonna readjust it to my seating position like I was showing you guys before. So, kind of to where I have it on the edge of the car. And now, would you look at that? I can see that whole vehicle. The mirror is way, way wider. So I'm gonna adjust it to how I would normally kind of have it adjusted here. So that right there is a ton better uh, for seeing this car in the blind spots. Like we were seeing before, we couldn't even see that vehicle. So now, boom, that car's there. I know about that car. And this is kind of cool because if you're trying to like 
be a BMW driver and cut lanes and things like that, it's going to show you the whole car, which is great. As soon as that car is gone, well, you're pretty much good to go, right? And not use your blinker and just cut people off. So that's great, right? That's great. Now, as you guys know, in America, we have these other side mirrors right here that say objects in mirror are closer than they appear. So we're going to go ahead and do this mirror right here. This is for the passenger side. Um, so same basic installation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys the differences. As you guys can see right there, we don't really see anything, right? We don't see any sort of car, but if I look right over there, definitely a car right there, uh, which would be considered my passenger side blind spot. So let's go ahead and install the mirror on this side and we'll see how it looks. As you can see, just as a reference, right? I kind of just have, well, I got it pointed to where, you know, I can just barely see like my door frame or whatever, like the little door handle and that sort of thing. So let's get the new one installed and see how much wider it gets. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how wide it gets as well. I mean, I'm just chilling here, but I want to make sure that I'm safe when I'm riding in this vehicle, you know what I mean? Yeah, a little bit of the do G, bitches. Go ahead and reach in with our fingers. If you need a pry tool, you can obviously use one, but we're just going like that. Super simple to pop off. Like literally all I'm using for this install is a key just to press down this little piece right here. And boom, we're out. New Euro piece right here, which I love the look of it as well. So if you're just kind of looking in the camera, you can see the difference and how wide it is, it should be much wider um, of a viewing space than this other one. We should be getting a better view. Also, it doesn't have this stupid objects in the mirror appear closer than they are or whatever, whatever the heck it is. So like, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. We're gonna see how this one looks here. I am quite interested. Boom, installation is super simple again. Just press on this thing, make sure it's solidly installed and it's not gonna fall off of the vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and adjust the mirror and I'll show you how much wider it is. I'm uh, definitely wondering exactly how much wider this thing is. I mean, I'm thinking quite a bit wider here. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna try to dial that mirror into the same view we are seeing before I'm from the driver's seat. I can see quite a bit more of that car now. I can pretty much see the whole freaking thing so that is a hell of a lot better especially the driver's side i'm gonna say the driver's side is the most drastic improvement compared to the passenger side the passenger side is better but it's not a crazy crazy difference but i think it's just enough it's basically like it's enough to see that car now whereas before you wouldn't have seen the car and i tried to put us in the most blind spot area that I could. So I hope you guys like this little modification video. Super simple install. Uh, I found these, I think for around $250 plus shipping was quite a bit because I had to get them from Europe. Uh, I want to say IND performance. I want to say they sell them for like $500 which is quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'll try to find the link where I purchased these from before. DHL was who I went through through shipping. It was quite a bit of money, like I'm saying, because it was from Europe, so. And it, and it took quite a while, uh, maybe two weeks or something along the lines of that, which isn't crazy by any means, but yeah, it's just one of those modifications you're gonna live with on the daily. It's gonna make driving your car just that much more I don't know, nice and convenient, right? We're not gonna hit people and uh, we kind of get a better view of what's going on around. So I hope you liked that video, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you would like. Hit that notification bell, that way you actually know when I post because YouTube doesn't like to tell you all the time. And we will talk to you soon, later, and wrench on.